Donald Trump says Republicans need to get over his comments about federal judge Gonzalo Curiel. This judge is of Mexican heritage. I'm building a wall. While Trump is calling for Curiel to step down from a lawsuit involving Trump University, his own legal team has actually praised the judge recently. Legal experts warn trying to get a judge tossed just because of his or her race is almost impossible. The court does not take it lightly, and therefore lawyers are well advised to be very careful with hurling those accusations. Experts say lawyers usually have to show a strong pattern of a judge making decisions based on someone's race to get the judge recused due to his or her ethnicity. So far, Trump's campaign and his lawyers haven't disclosed any pattern like that on the part of Judge Curiel. And judges get downright angry when it's just thrown out there. In a 1986 lawsuit, one lawyer complained that a Baltimore magistrate, quote, reflected a Jewish bias in favor of the Kaplan firm. The judge called the accusation false, banned the lawyer from practicing in that court, and recommended that he be disbarred. It's a huge insult if you say the mere fact that you have an ethnic background or a religious background or were appointed by a Democrat or a Republican um, is, is insulting. In 1996, Larry Clayman of the conservative group Judicial Watch wrote a brief questioning the impartiality of Circuit Judge Denny Chin. That was after Chin ruled against Clayman's client in a lawsuit. Clayman said because Chin was Asian and Clayman had a previous case against high-profile Asian Americans, the court, quote, might be unable to be fair and impartial. Judge Chin brought the hammer down, ruling Clayman couldn't appear in his court anymore. Former Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez says Judge Curiel shouldn't step aside, but he says Trump's lawyers do have a right to ask questions about the judge's impartiality. If there are any questions relating to that impartiality, even the appearance of impropriety is enough to cause a judge to recuse himself, then there should be a recusal because this is not about the judge. One issue Trump has raised, Curiel's membership in a Hispanic legal organization that called for a boycott against Trump's businesses. CNN has not found any evidence that Curiel supported the boycott, and a friend of the judge's defends him. Judge Curiel has tremendous integrity and courage, and by courage I mean he will follow the law wherever it takes him. Now Trump's team seems to be standing at this point almost alone in this campaign against Judge Curiel, but even Trump is backing off slightly, saying in a statement that he doesn't want to talk about this anymore. We tried to contact Trump's lawyers to see if they're going to file a motion for the judge to recuse himself. They didn't return our calls and email. One of Trump's lawyers did say recently that Judge Curiel is, quote, doing his job.